do young ladies find it easier to wear kilted skirts, kilts, and mini kilts routinely, she's betting, they're betting, that it's probably easier for, in some ways for women to get into tartan clothing than for the lads. Um, I wanted to parlay that into with a, another question we had asked, which was, um, uh, blah, 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 I lost it, lost it. Uh, Joe Groves asking where you find your cool outfit parts. So number one, do you think it's, what is the easiest way for a young woman to get involved in Highland dress? What do you think is the safest bets for them? And uh, <clears throat> what kind of reception should they expect? And uh, how would you like to concoct an outfit? Yeah. Uh, I would like to know also, like from you, from the business side of things, like for customer wise, because I think probably the majority of kilt consumers are men. Because that is for sure like what I see is the majority of people I see. If you Google the image of kilt, uh, you're going to see a lot of men um, because it's just traditionally kind yeah. of like where it stems from. And I get a lot of flack sometimes from people saying that I shouldn't be wearing the types of kilts that I'm wearing. How dare you, madam? I know, literally. Like, how dare I? Um, I think for for – women who are trying to get involved into tartan wear, there are a lot of options. There are like traditional ladies options. You can do shawls and arisades. I uh, really like the arisade. I, if you look on USA Kilt's website, I modeled it. Um, but yeah, and then there are also the mini kilts. There are kilted skirts. Um, they don't feel like skirts though. Uh, they definitely have a different feel. The, the kilt style garment has a different feel than like a skirt that I would wear that I get from any store or anything like that. So I feel like they're still differentiated. You've got the buckles, you've got the pleats. They're definitely a little bit more sturdy, um, even if it's a, a mini kilt. Um, but yeah, they're, they're definitely, it's different, but you can start out probably if you want to just get involved in tartan wear, maybe find your family tartan or a tartan that you like, a universal, whatever. You do scarves. I mean, there, there are a lot of options for sure. Um, but if you want to wear kilts, just do it. <laughs> I feel like that goes back to kind of our controversial or unpopular opinions of I personally think that you should just do whatever you want. Some people prefer the knee length kilt because it's not so modest that it's going down to like the floor or going down to your mid calf and it's not giving you that like too classical look. But some people and women are not comfortable with the mini kilts. So sometimes that knee length skirt mm -hmm. or knee length kilt is their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And so I'd say if that's the case, then just wear the kilt that's for men because it's like, it's great. <laughs> I have plenty yeah. of, I have tons of them. I love <clears throat> them. Um, but yeah, I don't, I think the commenter had mentioned like maybe it's easier for women to get into kilts because of skirts, but I, I don't think that's true. And I think that you probably can confirm. Sure. It's, that's, it's, yes, the, the majority of, a, a reasonable majority of our customers are men, although we are getting more, uh, the more women stuff we kind of play around with in the shawls and the stoles and the wraps and things, um, we're getting a little bit more of that. Um, but in, in Highland wear, you know, men are more the peacocks and it's not typical in many other things where, you know, it's a man is in a, a man's in a black tuxedo and, you know, it's just basically the cuddle of the pale or something that differentiates from one to the other. So yes, in Highland wear, it is kind of flipped on its head a little bit. But if you're a woman getting into it, you can wear, you know, a, a like you were pointing out, you know, a mini kilt, the kilted skirt. You can wear a man's kilt. I would also put a little bit of a twist on it in that you could wear a kilted skirt, um, which is typically like mid-calf kind of level, but just have it made a little bit shorter. Yeah. If you want something a little bit lighter and you don't want as much weight in the back and the swing of the pleats, then a kilted skirt's it feels It feels fun. I don't know. <laughs> I I loved it. Like watching a it's pipe band. I know I totally like cut this off, but it's so special. Like the feeling of walking with a heavy pleated kilt um and walking around like especially with a group of people. It's like you're all like doing it together. I love the feeling of a of the pleats in, moving. Do they have to move in unison? When you're marching, they do. That'd be sweet. Like if yeah. you're marching in into the circle, like I would watch videos of our of our competitions and stuff like that, and then I would just see us, and all the pleats are just like, meow, meow, meow. they make the noise too. Meow, meow. They're small cats. They do make that noise. That follow behind them. Yeah. Uh... Meow, meow, meow. Like, 
can't and hear it over the pipes and drums. That's well, that's what's in the bag. The bag. See the bagpipe joke. Mm. The cat's in the bag. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, not we don't insult the, the bagpipes. I'm not allowed. Joke? Yeah. Rocky. Okay, back <laughs> back on topic. Yeah. Please. The um, <laughs> um, no, but I would I would say this. Your your other point about you know if you're a little um, nervous for whatever reason about you know you don't maybe don't want to wear a skirt or or a kilted skirt or or a mini kilt or you're afraid to wear a man's kilt. You could wear a shawl, you could wear a stole. There's all kinds of different things. My other point would be, you just have to start, period. There's, you're never going to be, you know, perfectly, you know, GQ model or mademoiselle, I don't know, women, insert women's magazine here, um, mod, front cover model the first time you do anything. You, you always screw up something the first time you do it. But you'll never get to where you want to go unless you start doing something. Yeah. And fashion... Within women's wear, within, you know, Highland wear, within, you know, tartan is a lot more fluid, a lot more forgiving for women's stuff than it is for men. There's a lot more faux pas and tradition and convention around men's wear than there is women's wear. So it's, to some degree, it's easier and more forgivable to make those, you know, horrible mistakes. How um, dare you wear I a sporin? Oh, I would never. Um, don't talk to the hand. Um, but it's, <clears throat> no, it's. You're, you're fine. You're fine. Try, you know, look, uh, if, if anything, look at a couple different outfits. Like, think about, like, how you go to a barber or to a hairdresser. Like, hey, I saw this picture in this magazine and this picture in this magazine. Can you make my hair look like these? So do a same kind of thing or a similar kind of thing with your, with your kilt outfit or with your, with your style. You know, figure out the style that you want to emulate and then aim for that. That actually... Ties perfectly. I almost forgot to answer the secondary question too, but that's literally how I get my outfits. <laughs> it's just by like honestly consuming and and having silhouettes that I that I enjoy that I've seen and that I like and oh that pairs nicely um on on this person. It just kind of lives in my brain. Um, like this is not like a like an outfit that you buy somewhere. This is just a sweater that I have. I thrifted it and I like it. Um, but with my more like uh flashy showy outfits i i love the look of a, a, a corset with a mini kilt i love it um the corsets are also functional for me so i don't pass out when i'm on doing stage shows but um compression they garments her up. well they're they're compression garments and they help with my like uh. blood circulation disorder holla so um <laughs> it's nice but anyway um that's kind of nice i usually pick pieces up as i go though so i'll i'll hit up a festival sometimes i'm at uh, Scottish games and and I see a vendor and I and I like them. That's how I used to find my stuff. Now I get it from USA Kills. Um, but yeah, I'll find a corset vendor there. I'll like what they have. Find little little bags, belts that you know I could see it working with this thing and this thing, and I'll pick them up that way. Um, a good corset place is Corset Story. If I definitely have gotten a mm -hmm. bunch of corsets off of Corset Story, I think I have like fifteen from them. So watch that, for their sales. Also. Watch, watch for their sales. They usually do like a five for one. Uh, and that's when I'll get like my big that's a lot of courses. It's a lot of courses, but a lot of variety, a lot of, you know, there's a plain black, but then you can get like a Wonder Woman style corset. I don't have that one. I should get it, but it's really cool. But um, anyway, so that's something. Wonder here. Woman playing the bagpipes. Okay. I've done the Wonder Woman theme. Really? With Mia. Hmm. Okay. You should come see us on tour. Have we mentioned? Um, we're not doing Wonder Woman, but... But yeah, so it's 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 fun. I think just have a have your eye open for for things that you like, see the things that you like, and then just go find them. <clears throat> if you're and you brought up an interesting point of festivals or ren fairs yeah. or whatever wherever you are going, um, those places you know are a great you know mall, if you will, a collection of mm -hmm. a bunch of different vendors. So you know maybe look at you know, a bunch of different stores while you are there and try to go there specifically with the mindset of, okay, I want to look for like the coolest corset that I can find here. I want to look for the coolest, uh, insert, you know, kilt belt buckle or whatever it is. Um, but shop at those places for those things. Now, be aware, a lot of those things will be cheap. And some of you're going to have, at, at those type of events, you're going to have a mixture of artisans who are physically crafting things themselves, like leather workers and stuff like that. Um, and you're also going to have just like cheap import stuff, some of which is cool, some of which is well-made, some of which is really not. Um, 
So you have to very much have the old buyer beware. You know, if it's too, if you know, if it's if it's too good to be true, it probably is kind of mentality. Protect yourself a little bit as a consumer, but look around those types of events, and you also have the the double duty of if you're supporting the merchant or the merchants at those events, you're then supporting the event to be able to go on the next year. So you can kind of incorporate those things into your look outside of just going to Target and finding a cool sweater or a cool pair of boots or whatever, or, you know, thrifting your own sweater and that kind of thing. The shoes are thrifted too. Yeah. Very nice. I love a thrift. I don't know if I could wear thrift shoes. Having someone else's feet in my shoes for a pe- like a long period of time skews I mean, me out of it. Especially if they're still there when you're buying them. Yeah. yeah. No, I definitely well, done that before. No, um, I could tell that these ones in particular hadn't been worn a ton. There weren't really scuffs. And like you could see there wasn't like wear on the inside. Right. I think a lot of times that's what you're going to find. Like sometimes they even still have the tags on them and they're in the box. So. Yeah. That's a different story. But Buyer yeah. beware. Yes. It's another situation of that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Have your eye out. Look cool. for the deals. Look for deals. Look for and deals. And support cool companies. Yeah. That's why I love going particularly to find my costume and outfit pieces at at different festivals is because you can pick out the small or, or small businesses um, and and find like this this ring was from uh, a festival. It's one of my favorite rings, but it's she made it, <laughs> and I got this instead of getting like a cheap thing at a jewelry store. Um, and my, some of my favorite pieces are like that. This one as well. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. it's it's hunt and peck. It's look for cool things. Sometimes there are big companies that have really really cool kilt pins like <coughs> USA kilt. Who? Uh, otherwise the uh, uh, no, it's finding cool, small artisans and supporting artisans mm-hmm. and craftspeople. Yes, hundred yeah. percent. Avoid yeah. fast fashion. Yes, avoid, avoid fast fashion. Avoid fast fashion. Indeed. So, if you yourself are looking for any kilts like these, you know where to get them: usakilts.com. And for all the ladies out there who are wanting to get into kilt fashion, I definitely give you a one hundred percent support. Go ahead.